This is a demonstration of an easy rent transaction conducted on a Sequoia PCPOS cash register. In order to conduct an easy rent transaction, a customer need only have a valid bank issued credit or debit card to secure the rental and an email address. Everything else will be taken care of by the cash register. Since easy rent transactions require an email address which are attached to Sherpa customer IDs, I've decided to have my cash register prompt for the customer ID to start. I can override the necessity of entering a customer ID by simply typing three X's if the transaction will not include any rentals. Entering the customer ID up front allows the register to bring the customer information, including the email, into memory and keep it in memory through the entire transaction. Once the customer ID is in memory, you are now able to scan any merchandise in the store, including easy rent titles. As you can see, general merchandise or non-rental titles simply scan as usual. Upon scanning an easy rent title, however, the cash register displays multiple options, including each of the various rental increments that are available through Rafter. Upon selecting any of the easy rent options, the register will display the email address that's on file for the customer ID already entered, and you have the option to either accept it or change it as required at the cash register. Simply selecting clear allows me to type in a new email address that will not only be used for this transaction, but also be saved for future transactions. Next, the cash register will confirm that the bank card being used to secure the rental is valid for the duration of the rental, plus the 25 days required by Rafter Rentals. Once the expiration date is approved, the cash register prompts for a card swipe in order to capture a token on behalf of Rafter. The card will not be charged, but the token is required in the event that the customer requires follow-on charges. After securing the rental, you can add additional items, add additional rentals, or subtotal to complete the transaction. Upon subtotal, the customer can pay by any tender that they choose, including financial aid, store gift cards, or a campus card. In this case, we'll use cash to complete our transaction. The transaction completes by updating local reports and inventory and electronically sending the easy rent information and customer information to Rafter. That's it.